just throw them out there. Okay. But yeah, so we now have standing water. Pretty cool. And we'll find this, you know, obviously it'll be lower areas first. And that probably means that most of the ice on the surface will have melted. Hello everyone, my name is Josh, aka Time Frame. Yes, you heard right, Time Frame. Not Biscuit Eater, because we made a little change. Check out the channel intro. And I want to welcome you all to my long form let's play of Planet Crafter. If this is your first time of the series, do note you can find links to the playlist in the description down below. In the, uh, and that's, of course, on YouTube, because, of course, we're not doing this on stream. That being said, please make sure you help me out if you like what I'm doing and you like these offline options make sure you click the like button and comment on the video it helps me out but anyways we are doing this at like last time where i will be doing an intro that'll cover the next three episodes just to kind of help me out and keep these things going so let's go ahead and move over to the game proper all right and we are back uh, so just want to kind of give you a heads up as we go into the uh last episode of the night uh, we are getting to the point now where we, we've passed the liquid water stage, which is where I should start melting. And uh, we've got the stage where lakes should be coming next. So I got some, I got myself just some basic water and food rations. Actually, I need one more water. I, I should, shouldn't, be, I should, oh no, I don't have any yet. Okay. I thought I drank from inside here, but no, apparently I did not. Okay. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to grab one. Oh, I'm very hydrated now. Let's go ahead and first thing we're going to do is we go into the caves over here and see if the ice is starting to melt. And then we'll head over to the wreck where we're going to do our expedition for the night. And I need to do a run where I come in, go through here, and I clear out any collect or any harvestables from this area. Doesn't look like it's fully. No, it. However, it is definitely starting. So. It's, Starts melting at 100k, and we're at 300k. Can I? I can. There you go. Again, so this these are sulfur flats, which means a lot. What we'll find here is okay. You're, you're, you're showing me to be a liar, game. Okay, so it's mostly, or was it silicon? I could have sworn these were the sulfur flats, so. And, well, it may just be that this is where you can mine a lot of sulfur. Okay, well, there's, there's some sulfur there. Um, and we've got, an, and this is where we've got, what is blue again? I'm trying to remind myself what blue is. Or sulfur. Osmium, which we... I'm not going to grab it yet because we technically haven't unlocked this area. But yeah, we now have access to Osmium. And that will be very useful a bit later in the game. But yeah, so a lot of the areas that were blocked off by ice, we now have the ability to start getting into, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, as I'll wait till the ice is fully melted before I start actually capitalizing on these areas. Just because technically shouldn't be able to be here yet. I just happen to know that you can work 
illusion magic to uh it, it it's like using your horse to walk up mountains in Skyrim. Technically cheating. Because you're clipping through some stuff. Oh yay! We can start making nuclear reactors now. Which will make our power generation so much easier. But that's for a later episode. For now, we has a ship to plunder. I don't remember how much is in here, but I suspect there's going to be a lot. So um, when I did come back to take back all the stuff that we had gathered earlier, <clears throat> excuse me, I did go ahead and expand. I didn't add a whole bunch of these yet, but I will uh, as we get more things to throw in there. I will do so. Let's go ahead and start. Looting. Kind of wish you could actually loot or, or, or disassemble more, but okay. So this is just set dressing. Okay, so we're going off to the right first. Ah, unlock bio lab, yay. Again, that'll be next next time. More seeds, nice. Apparently can't, uh, Deconstruct those. We are going to search the whole bottom floor before we try to go up the next floor. Nice. Nothing behind, okay. up here? Is it going to be a lot of exploration? No. That's not going to take it. Don't have to come back. Ooh, bioplastic nuggets, nice. That's something you get out of the uh, out of the bio lab. Okay. 
And now we return. And that's what this is going to be. It's going to just be dash, grab, dash back. Dash, grab, dash back. But it'll be useful. And I just want you to see what I see as I'm going through the wreckage. Back. But I still need to go that other direction. Nope, I already did. Never mind. Yep. What just happened? Yes, that give me a prompt. As I did that. Okay, well, I'm not sure what that was. Yay! Okay. Didn't expect that. Okay. Be right back. Had I not had it in destruct mode, I would have never seen that prompt. How's that for cool? back. Should have one more run left before I need to rehydrate. Right from all the running. Don't need to go to the side. Just go straight ahead. Nothing else in there. I'm not getting any other prompts. Okay, so we should be good. This way. Now we'll go to the left side. Much yet, but it was too there at least. Okay, that's good. Ooh, just a bunch of iron. Nice. Okay, we'll be back. Yes, hydration level. No, I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay, boom, boom.
And we go back. Okay, well, so we're getting here basic idea of the standard game loop here. Expand, improve, explore. Expand, improve, explore. Did I completely miss those before, or did I put a different thing entirely this time? I just must have completely missed those before. Or I went a completely different way this time. Oh, yeah. So I went a completely different way this time. Okay, I haven't gone down you yet. No. Or no, that support beam just came back, apparently. Not sure why. And I can't hold anymore, so I should let's see, do I have there. Is that it for this Hulk? I guess when there was more in here. Yep, I think that's it. <coughs> okay. Still not too bad of a haul. Although I over, definitely overprepared. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and spare you all the uh, the trip back. So, there. So, I will see you all when I'm back at main base. All right, and we are back. Thank you very much for your patience there. So, uh, we've moved along and uh, continue to do a little bit of uh, expanding. Uh, added a third level to the base. I'm going to need to get some windows in that poor thing it's it, it's it's pretty uh pretty sad up there uh been able to I, I moved the farm that is now on level three expanded out to a couple more of these um and then i actually gave us a decent storage area for it so not not all that much up here yet but we'll we'll get there um but then make sure that we have our heat level and we have ultimately our crafting level. Um, so the next thing I want to do is I want to get a bio lab and I'll probably put it right on top of here. I also want to get, uh, let's see, what, what does a bio lab require? Oh, we need osmium, which we skipped on because we couldn't get through there yet. Uh, so we're not going to do a bio lab just yet, but that's, uh, we could, but let's actually get, let's worry about energy and heat. Um, I want to create our first T T3 heater. So to do that, we need to make iridium rods. Six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll make an iridium rod. Why I made an iridium rod when I actually had a spare one, I don't remember why I did that. I've got three of them, but we'll need more of those later. Oh, I should take advantage of these, but what can I unlock with the blueprints? mapping screen, which will be useful once we put up a geo and ooh, fence. That one I won't use at all. <laughs> and did we get a message? Oh, we do have a message from Convict GP 8971-Y. To whom will receive this message? I am a planet crafter sent on the Megoria 3 planet. If you receive this, it means you are near. Maybe you are the planet crafter as well. The weather is atrocious and I'm running out of resources. There is not enough in this barren world to terraform it. I don't know why I chose this. Death would have been more pleasant than this hell. If anyone can please send me help, please do. Yeah, you're already dead, buddy. I, I, we all know this. All right, so. Excuse me. What was I doing? Okay, yes. Uh, so to create, um, to create 
this. We need silicon, titanium, and aluminum. And yes, we're running low, I know. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up a tier 3 heater. We'll set it right here. That's going to give us 28.5 heat and pressure to boot. That's also going to use up a goodly chunk of our remaining energy. So our next step is going to be to make a nuclear reactor, which we have a uranium rod already. We desperately need more super alloy. Okay. What, did say, what else did I say we needed? Water. Two water. Okay. So for that... I think... It might be... I mean... To my knowledge, there has not been added any particular feature where these actually cause issue. But look at that, that's 86 energy right there. So one of those provides... Five, six times as much... Or, no, not five, six times, that's what... what four times as much energy as one solar... Uh, so four of these is one of those. So that is going to be very nice. That'll, that'll, that'll shore us up for a little while longer. Next, we need... What I want to do is I need I want to get a, a jet pack. So for that I need a rocket engine, two rocket engines, which I need four uranium and two super alloys. And for a jet pack I need a titanium. Yes, I know, I'm getting low on water. What that does is... This is only level 1, so it doesn't have much lift. But... We can travel much quicker now. And we have a easy. We'll have an easier time navigating surfaces. Look at that! Look at that! That's new. Okay. Just still remember seeing that there. Okay. But yeah. So we now have standing water. Pretty cool, and we'll find this. You know, obviously, it'd be lower areas first, and that probably means that most of the ice on the surface will have melted. Well, that makes me wonder is how is this how is the ice up there that'll let us know if we actually can go and get the osmium legitimately now And with the introduction of water, things get a lot more interesting. Yep, so most of the ice has... Woohoo! There's the some of the osmium we needed. So 
we can't get all the way through yet. This will just at five at point five or whatever that is. So not all the ice is gone, but we did just get the two osmium we needed, which reminds me actually is we also now have ore extractors, which can be used to get some of the basic. Right now, ore extractor one can only get the ba some of the basic ores. It's not going to be able to get like a, a lot of the high end ores. But it's still a decent start. What was the other thing that we wanted that would require osmium? Uh, oh, the bio lab, which it's more important there, but I need to get more super alloy too. And I'll probably do that off screen. That will make travel much quicker. Much, much quicker. But yeah, let's see. Well, what do I need to make it myself? Titanium, silicon, iron, cobalt, aluminum, and magnesium. That put me now at bio making for making that bio lab. One more super alloy and another aluminum. Okay, that's expensive, so I don't want to do I, I don't want to do that too often. But for this at least, so this I should be able to just attach it right here. There we go. This gives me access to even more things that I can make. Bacteria samples, bioplastic nuggets, fertilizer. Of course, some of this is going to require additional stuff, like we need... Now we need to be able to get methane, we need to be able to get algae, which algae requires lakes, so we, get, we, we're, we're, we, we have to wait a little bit on that. But, making some decent progress here. Uh, but what else? What else could we? We've got. We made the heater. We made the nuclear reactor. We could make an ore extractor just for regular stuff. Yeah, why not? Why not? So that said, we needed an iridium rod, and I think I used all my iridium rods. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And a super alloy. Now I also need to get some more silicon. I'm running really dangerously low on silicon. Aluminum and titanium. We can set this outside to get ourselves just a ever ready supply of general ores. See, so we check inside. It indicates that iron is the most common for here, for this location. But yeah. So this will now go as far as to fill up this entire. This enti entire. Uh, 
chest uh, uh, until it fills it up with, with ores. It'll be just it'll be the standard that's just lying around. So that'll be nice. So let's go ahead and throw you guys back in there. And was there anything else that we could do today? Sorry, I was talking about making some more. Eh, it's not as important, so. We could make the beacon. We can keep talking about that. Let's make a home beacon. Aluminum, silicon, and titanium. I was hoping to actually be able to make my way all the way up. <laughs> Here we go. Well, we can actually put them up here, maybe? There we go. And we'll choose color. This is going to be home beacon, so we're going to make you nice and green. All right, so that, no matter where we're at, will always show that outline. So even if we get lost, we'll be able to find our way home. But this is the base so far. was hoping. Oh, let's, let's try to get up here. But yeah. That is the base so far. Ah! Hoping. <laughs> you get the gist. You get the gist. But yeah, that's, that is our base so far. And I think we're doing pretty darn well. Wouldn't you say? You've got quite a bit we've done and we got way more to do uh, we're not even close to done yet but yeah I think we've made a very good start and you know even though I think this is going to make for a slightly shorter episode I think this is a really great place to wind things down for the night. I want to see, though, what we've got coming up here. Oh, we have we have tier 5 backpacks. We can... Yeah, let's not wrap that up yet. What, what, oh, and yeah, more super alloy. Nope. Not until I, not until I get, my, uh, get us some uh, actual super alloy. Seed spreader, great, okay. Biomass screen, orbital information screen. Lake water collector, that's going to be useful. It's a tree spreader, hater, sign, algae generator. Okay, that's, that's going to be our next really big, but again, won't really be able to get that until we get more water, but we... Okay. Let's see here. We could probably do with some additional oxygen generation, even though we've got the uh, help there. We could probably do with some more. That's going to require that we get ourselves some more silicon, magnesium, aluminum. I can do... So yeah, so I'm going to focus on that next round uh, during the... during uh, off, uh, Offline get these their own special area and uh, start actually making some more of those but that's going to require some grinding and gathering and all that fun stuff which uh, I won't bore you folks with but yeah 
I, I would say that we are doing pretty well here. Oh, and yeah. Oh, come on. There you go. And these, these are uh, significantly more uh, helpful for gaining your gaining gaining health back. Plus, they'll be involved in actual crafting later on, so they'll be important to have. But there we go. That I think is going to wrap everything up here. So, bear with me while I transfer er, transfer on over to the close out and I'll see y'all later. All right, and with that, I wanna thank you folks for joining me on today's session of Planet Crafter. We will be playing all the way through or as much as we can in the current build of the game and I hope that you are enjoying it. If you are, please make sure you like and comment on the video. That helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos come up on the channel. I do post new videos to the channel every single day. So it's a great way to catch up on previous streams, series that we're doing, as well as these offline series that you can only find on the YouTube channel. With that, you can also find down in the doobly-doo links to all my various social media channels. So that way you can keep up with me, talk to me there. You got Twitter, you got Facebook, you got Discord, you got TikTok, just about everything is down there. So would love to talk to you there and continue the conversation. But with that all said, I do want to thank you once again for joining us. And until I see you next time, Game on, lovelies.